Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wahlul ukhdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Welcome back dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to Madinah book 2. Inshallah today what we're doing is we're doing class 57 today. So very important class today. What we're going to do is we're going to learn about Anakis fan. The weak verbs which has the lam kalima as the weak letters. So let's go to our class. If we just bring you quickly the chart which you're using here. So we know the fa kalima when it has weakness, it's called mark al fai, and we know it's called al mithan, and it can be wawi and al yai. We know al wawi, it's like for example, wajaba, wajada, wada'a. So when it goes to Madaria, then the wow is dropped. And Misal al yai we didn't do much actually. So it is uh, behaves like a normal fa'al. There's nothing which gets dropped. There's no chain in the conjugation. That's why Dr. Abdurrahim did introduce uh, uh, Misal al yai For example, Yatama, Yaitimu, or Yaisa, Yai Asu. So that's the uh, al Misal al wawi and Misal al yai So we know Matal al fa Aini. It's ajwaf, so we done in detail in the last two or three classes where it's uh, uh, how to identify which bab is uh, belongs to and how to conjugate madi, mudaria, and how it changes to marfu, majzum, and mansu and amar forms. So, inshallah, what we'll do today is we'll just take this off and al matal al lami is called an naqis. That means the weakness is in the lam kalima. So again, same thing here. It can have weakness. It's al waw or it can be al yai. So that is an naqis. So we're going to identify. This is little bit more trickier than the other ones because there's a uh, quite a few things which going on which we need to understand and we have to remember it. Inshallah. Let's move to our class then. So an naqis. So what are the things we see? It could be in the lam kalima. It could be, you know, it's a wow, and it is, yeah. These wow and ya yeah can be hidden behind alif or alif maksura. So, as a general rule for the knock is fan, whenever you see alif, that means it is wow. The original root letter is wow, and whenever you see alif maksura, so you can be rest assured that it is ya. Yeah. It's a root letter, so that's uh, the general rule. So there are, there are some exceptions which we'll learn later, inshallah. So as a general rule, for example, if you see da'a, so da'a is we know is da'a wa. This is wa which is changed into mad alif mamduda. That's what is called alif mamduda. So for example, tala or if you see afa. Means da'a means he invited, tala means he recited, and afa means he pardoned. So whenever we see ya, adif maksura, then we know it is ya. So in Nakis, we have got all types of fans where you see at the end we can have alif mamduda, alif maksura, and there can be ya in its original form. So we're going to see and see how each will have its own method. So if you see Rama, it's he hit, he threw, Masha, he walked, Baka, he cried, Jara means to run, and Atta means to come. So, if you see in all these forms here, what we see is Alif Maksura, which is the original letter, is Ya. This is Ramaya, Mashaya, Bakaya, Jaraya, and Ataya. So, these are changed to Rama, and what we need to see here. The reason why it's changed into alif maksura is because the ayin kalima has got fata in all these files. That's why that ya is changed into alif maksura. It's rama and is produced the sound of a, rama, masha, baka, jara, and ata. So if we just have a look at the ya, when do we get the original ya retained? Is when the ayin kalima has a kasra, like a nasi ya. So we can't say nasi and just stay quiet because this alif maksura is actually has sound of a. 
so we can't have nasi a so it will have the original ya retained so that's why we have nasi ya means he forgot khashiya he was afraid of bakia means he remained so these are the ways where we can see the unlocked is fail you can have alif in the end alif maksura in the end alif mamduda alif maksura and yeah so if we see just to introduction to mudari i'm not going to do complete conjugation today i'm just going to see what vowels these belong to so that gives a good idea how these things conjugate so da is bab nasara nasara yan suru and rama masha baka jara ending with alif maksura is daraba is yad ribu and the one which has ya proper ya is is nasiya samia yes ma'u so if you see just how the basic form is made nasara yan suru so it should have been da yad u nasara yan suru is yad u however because wow is a weak letter so what happens the dhamma sign has been taken away so what do we have is yad u so we just give a <coughs> elongation of the sound yad u tala will be yad lu but the sign of dhamma is taken away and what we have is yat lu and afa will be ya fu so if you go to the raba yad ribu it is be rama ya yar yi yar mi yu so it should have been yar mi yu so we know the weak letter does not carry any vowel sign so we will take the vowel sign so it becomes yar mi masha yam shi yu so again take away the dhamma so it will be yam shi so even though in these situations where we don't see dhamma but we know in our mind that there is a what do we how do we describe this al fail fail mudariya marfu um bi dhamma til muqaddara so it is an estimated dhamma the dhamma is there but we can't see but we know this is how it is a marfu form so in all this fail so yab ki you will be take the dhamma away so make it muqaddara so ya baki ya jiriyu same thing and ata ya ati so take the dhamma so we have ya jiri ta jiri we see lot of places in run runs so to run ya ati comes ata he came ya ati he comes so nasiya yes ma'u see samia yes ma'u so we say yan sayu So same thing again here. So we take away in Madhurya the sign of Dhamma. So it becomes Yansa. Yes, ma will be Yansa. He forgets. Khashiya will be Yaksha. Yaksha you will be Yaksha. And Bakiya. So what's happening here is if we see because there's a sign of Fatha. the the dots of ya is taken away it's turned into alif maksura so we don't write the dots so what we do is we just take the dots away so dhamma is gone and also the dots of ya so it becomes yan sa so sound with produce of a yan sa ya sha so take away dhamma take away the and bakia will be yabqa so we're going to just conjugate da so we're going to conjugate the mari and we begin with all three forms inshallah we need to see how they are conjugated and what are the changes that take place that we need to remember most importantly so da is originally da wa so in hua form so we're going to do all the 14 prana so in hua it is da so da means to invite or he invited so when we go to huma the original wow in these type of fails where you find alif mam do that at the end it comes out in two situations one is when the huma in dual forms when you use for example we'll see da wa So this wow is the lam kalima of the fa'il, it's a root, and this alif is alif muthanna. So when let's go to hua, huma, hum. So hum is written as originally it should have been 
the wow. So wow, we know this is a fa'il and this is a sakin pronoun, what we call it as because it's a sukun and this is a fa'il. And now we have got repetition. So we know whenever we get these substitutions, the weak letter is taken away. So if we take this weak letter, so what do we remain? What we're left with? The ow. So this is the how it is pronounced by whom? The ow. They all they invited. <coughs> That's how it's written now. And this alif is alif vikaya to protect the fa'al. So here, so again here we see the situation where we got tawtanisi coming with the sukun and we got again yaltiqai sakinaini. So here the wow is gone. Wow only comes out in the huma and in the other forms it remains normal. And because it's iltiqai sakinaini, so we got to take away again this alif mamduda with sukun. So what we have left is ta'at. So and Uma, they both female, they invited with the ata. So these are changes which takes place in the sakin pronoun. So we can see these are the pronouns which is called sakin. This we don't pronounce the sound of this. So the awa, the au, the at here in the at and the a is, uh, is mustatir and the ata is again sakin pronoun. So if you go to mudaria, not mudaria, sorry, to hunna. So what happens here? The lam kalima comes out the original root letter comes out so at the mutaharrik pronouns from hunna we know the mutaharrik pronouns start nuno niswa and it gives sukun to the lam kalima and whenever such a situation the lam kalima the root original root comes out so we have the auna <coughs> they all all those females they invited and from the auna we know it becomes easy it becomes the auta the autuma the autum the auti in the autuma the autunna this is mutaharrik pronouns the autu i invited the auna we all invited so if you bring another form just to get a good practice tala yathlu so now we know tala is actually talawa so in huma huwa tala he recited talawa they both recited this alif is alif musanna is the fa'il the sakin pronoun wow is the lam kalima here talaw wow is the sakin pronoun it represents whom and the alif mduda is dropped talaw and this alif is alif bikhaya so we should be able to even if there are no vowel signs so they would both would look the same so we should be able to know depending on situation whether it is talking about both or all of them so that's the difference that's why we need to know what's happening in each fan so again talat <coughs> and talata they both they both recited and talauna so again here this wow is original lam kalima with sukun because of mutaharri pronouns begin from hunna so then it becomes easy talauna there is a talauta Talautuma, you recited, you both recited. Talautum, talauti, talautuma, talautunna, talautu, talauna. So this is how the file notice alwawi will ending with alif mamdula is conjugated. Let's take some examples of file notice alyai ending with alif maksura. So for example, masha. Masha means he walked. He walked. So let's see again. The same principle is uh, applies here. Even in huma and hunna from hunna mutaharrik pronouns, the original lam kalima comes out. So here they both walked will be masha ya masha ya. So this alif is alif musanna. That's the fa'il and that's the fa'an ayn and lam kalima. Let's do <coughs> the same thing here. The alif maksura is dropped and what we have mashaw so this wow is the mutharri oh, sorry not mutharri sakin pronoun represents whom and alif alif viqaya say mashaw they all they all walked so how do we write so when we have mashaw plus tau tanisi so what happens is we take away the alif maksura so you take away so what we are left with is mashat so again, mashata. So this alif alif musanna. They both they both walk. So mashai. So we know whenever there is a 
Mutaharik pronouns, the lam kalima noun, it comes back. So whenever it is a mutaharik pronoun, the lam kalima comes back and that will get a sukun. So it becomes mashai plus nona niswa and that will become mashaina. And from mashaina, it's again, it's a highway. So you give mashaita, mashaituma, mashaitum, mashaiti, mashaituma, mashaitunna, mashaitu, I walked, mashaina, we walked. So let's bring another example just to get uh, a good practice of this. For example, we say <coughs> Ata to come, Ata to come, he came or to come. So Ata and the same principle and Huma, the original Lam Kalima comes out and you get Alif Musanna. So we Ata, Ya. So I want all of you to pronounce, so I mean to say along with me so you get good practice. So you say Ata, Ya. So what will be the home form? So we take away Alif Maksura and we bring Wow, a Sakin pronoun representing whom so it will become Atau. So it will be Atau. So it's Alif Alif Fire. And it will be Atat. And Huma will be Ata Ta. So from Hunna, so we know the Ya comes out and it becomes Ataina. They all came. At, then from, from Hunna, so you know it becomes. Very easy, it becomes Ataita. You came, Ataituma. You all, you, <coughs> excuse me, you both came, Ataitum, Ataiti. You female, you came, Ataituma, Ataitunna, Ataitu. I came, Atai, Na. So, this is how it is conjugated. So, let's take some examples where the notice is having original Lam Kalima. For example, the most important, very important file very important to know how this is conjugated here the things are changing because we have got ya in its original form it is a bit easy but we need to remember what are the changes that take place so if you see nasiya he forgot so how do we say they both forgot will be nasi ya so it's alif alif musanna so no changes here because the original all the forms are there so what happens when it comes to whom? So when we come to whom, so we have nasiya plus wa is your sakin pronoun with a sukun, and we got here weak kalima. So whenever situation we know here, what happens here? The weak letter is taken away. So what are we left with? We got nasi plus wa, but again we got another problem here. So the problem is that kasra. And wow, they are not compatible. They don't like each other. So wow is very stubborn. He says, I'm not going to go anywhere, but I don't like Kasra. So what happens? The Kasra says, okay, fine. I'm going to go away. And instead of Kasra, so the wow, it likes its own shape. So it brings Dhamma. So then these two are compatible. So what happens now is, instead of Nasiya, when it comes home, it becomes Nasu, Nasu. So this is why we have Dhamma here, and this Alif Vikaya, and this Wow is Sakin pronoun representing whom. This is the important change here, and we see how it happens at Nasiyat. We don't have to do any change because everything is pronounceable, no conflicts, no conflict of interest. So it becomes Nasiyat, <coughs> and Nasiyat, Ta, and Kuma. And what happens to Mutaharik pronoun? Again, if you see here, nasi, mutarik pronouns, all we got to do is just give a sukun and everything is pronounceable, no changes at all, just keep adding the pronouns. That's very straightforward. So it's nasi, plus now becomes nasina. So it's not hasina, it is nasina. So we know from nasina, so it's straightforward, you just have to go nasita, you forgot nasituma, nasitum, nasiti, nasituma, nasitunna, nasitu. I forgot Nasina, we all, we forgot. So this is how a fair notice with original Ya retained is conjugated. The only change is taking place in the home form where the Dhamma comes and that's the reason why it comes <coughs> as a compatibility issue. Do, do now, so we're going to bring another fair and a similar pattern and see how it is conjugated just get a good revision inshallah so if you can go along with me and then just uh, say how it is so huwa khashiya huma khashiya so this alif alif musanna so we need to know and 
how do we do for the hun? So when wow comes the sakin pronoun, so it becomes khashu, khashu, they all, they all. Afraid. Khashita, khashiyat, and khashiya ta for huma. And from hunna, it's, uh, it's quite straightforward here, this one. Khashina, from khashina, it's straightforward. So if you just say here, so it's khashita, khashituma, khashitum, khashiti. Khashituma, khashitunna, khashitu, khashina. So that brings to end of our class. So what we have seen so far is uh, how the Narcus files are used and <coughs> how these are constructed in Mahdi. So what we're going to do is inshallah next class we're going to see how they are constructed in Mudara and we're trying to use all the types of uh, mudari'ah, marfu, mansub, majzum, and also inshallah the amar form. So just until then keep practicing, keep revising yourselves. I'll see you again in the next class. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.